If you love gaming, then you should thank Gerald, a.k.a. Jerry Lawson. Here's why. Born in Brooklyn and raised in Queens, New York, his fierce mother ensured that Lawson received the best education possible. His father was a longshoreman who had an avid interest in science. And it's under these influences that Lawson became fascinated with engineering and technology. He was also influenced by George Washington Carver. As a child, he developed an amateur radio station. And as a teen, regularly fixed neighbors, appliances, and repair televisions at various repair shops around the neighborhood. His passion stayed with him as an adult, attending Queens College and the City University of New York. Lawson's first exposure to computers came while working at Federal Electric ITT, where he was trained on Forest 65L, the world's first militarized solid-state computer designed by ITT. He also worked at PDR Electronics in New York. After developing his programming and electronics skills, he moved to Silicon Valley, California in the early 70s, where he settled at Fairchild Semiconductor Incorporated. While working as an engineer at Fairchild, Lawson joined the influential Homebrew Computer Club alongside future tech luminaries like Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak. But it was his work as an engineer at Fairchild that was truly pioneering. As a side project, he created a coin-operated arcade racing game called Demolition Derby. That set him up on a trailblazing path. Demolition Derby never went into production, but the feat caught the attention of his colleagues and his supervisors. He was approached by his supervisors at Fairchild and asked to become the lead engineer in the company's new gaming division. It is here that he used an Alpex computer prototype and transformed it into the first cartridge-based home video game system. Larson used printed circuit boards and game cartridge prototypes, similar to 8-track tapes, to refine the console and its games, creating the world's first video game system with interchangeable cartridges. Up until then, home gaming systems could only play variations of games hardwired permanently into the console. By engineering removable cartridges containing the game's software data, Lawson paved the way for an entire industry. Gamers could now easily switch between different games by plugging in various cartridges. No longer were they limited by their console's meager built-in offerings, and the console was small enough to sit comfortably atop a living room TV set. Lawson also worked on taming the awkward keyboard control scheme by transferring the control from a keyboard into a fairly complicated hand controller, what we know now as the joystick. Lawson's design was the first digital home game joystick in the industry, which stood out at the time when most video games were played with knobs, not too unlike that you find on your home stereo system. The Channel F console system debuted in 1976 featuring Lawson's revolutionary cartridge mechanism and joystick controller. Arcade quality video games can now be affordably played at home. Each game cartridge also came prominently numbered, starting with video cart number one. This provided an easy way to refer to cartridges which contain multiple games of varying genres. Fairchild ultimately made it up to Video Cart 26. The Channel F was a huge commercial success in its first year, and its cartridge and joystick innovation inspired and enabled future blockbusters like Atari and Nintendo. Ever the inventor and to capitalize on the growing game market, Lawson left Fairchild and founded the first Black-owned video game development company in 1982 called VideoSoft. 
Unfortunately, Videosoft was forced to close during the 1983 recession when the video game market crashed and before Lawson could ship any of the company's video games. Fortunately, a group of Atari fans worked with him to release limited editions of six of his prototype games, including Genesis 3D, Atom Smasher, Death Charger, Ghost Attack, and 3D Havoc in small batches of 100 cartridges each. Lawson later worked as a consultant, an expert witness in court litigations, and as an advisor to young engineers. In 1994, Stanford University's Department of Aeroastronautics celebrated his outstanding mentorship on a satellite project. Let's celebrate Jerry Lawson, who paved the way for Atari, Nintendo, Xbox, and PlayStation with his removable cartridges, his joystick, and console systems. These are immeasurable contributions to the modern world of gaming.